Hi guys, um, I'm Mariska. I'm the program manager for our TEFL Latin America program. Joining me is Santa. She is the program manager for our TEFL Southeast Asia program. So welcome um, and thank you for joining us today. Um, if you have any questions um, during the presentation, um, please put it in the comments in the chat box for us and um, Santa and myself will um, answer it as we are going along. And then, um, yeah, we hope you find this very informative and you enjoy it. So let me begin by um, chatting to you about the different locations um, that we have where you can go and do your four-week TEFL course in, in Latin America. You have the destination uh, Guatemala, La Antigua, Costa Rica, Manuel Antonio, and then Peru, Costco, where you can go and do your four week TEFL course. In Southeast Asia, you have Indonesia, Thailand, Cambodia, and Vietnam. Um, Santa will chat about the, its destination a little bit more as well um, in depth. So firstly, a little bit more about these destinations. So Costa Rica is a tropical paradise with sandy beaches, great um, outdoor activities, water sports and nightlife. Costa Rica is known for its beaches and volcanoes and um, biodiversity. And um, roughly a quarter of its area is made up of protected jungle. Then for Guatemala, um, it is home to volcanoes and rainforest um, and the ancient, ancient Mayan sites. Guatemala is best known for its uh, colorful colonial city of Antigua. Um, it is a um, UNESCO World Heritage Site, which is quite amazing. And this small Central American country has a wealth um, of homegrown um, produce and, and, and talent. So a very um, nice uh, uh, country to go and do your TEFL course in. We then have Peru. Um, Peru is a country in South America that is home to, um, that is home to a section of the Amazon rainforest and also Machu Picchu. Um, and yeah, an ancient um, icon city um, high in the Andes Mountains. The region around um, Machu Picchu um, includes the Sacred Valley um, Inca um, uh, Trail that you can do and um, colonial cities of uh, Cusco and it's rich of great sites to go and visit and the uh, Machu Picchu is one of the seven wonders of the world so just to keep that in mind as well. And of these three destinations Spanish is the main language um, spoken, so it is a great way to also learn different languages. Then for um, a little bit more about Cambodia, so Sim Reap. Um, Cambodia is, a, is um, Cambodia in the country's uh, northwest, there is ruins of the Angkor Wat. It's a massive stone temple complex um, built during the Khmer Empire. Um, Poping is its capital and it's home to a lot of odd uh, decor and central markets, um, the royal palace and a lot of um, national museums as well. Then Bali, I think a lot of people are um, uh, knows about Bali and knows that um, it is known for its beaches and coral reefs. The island is also known for its um, forest, uh, um, it, it's, yeah, uh, forest volcanic uh, mountains and the iconic rice paddies that's there. And if you're a person that enjoys yoga and meditation, there's a lot of retreats um, in, in Bali as well for that. Then lastly, we have Bangkok, it's Thailand's capital. It's a large city known for its vibrant street life. And um, it's, a, it's also known for its sensational culinary journey and taste experience. And that awaits you in obviously 
um, its renowned Thai cuisine. So, um, so yeah, so next up will be um, Santa that's chatting to us about the um, eligibility for the program. Yeah, so schools prefer teachers who are between the ages of 20 and 45, but that is not set in stone. If you are a bit younger or a bit older, you can also speak to your consultant. Um, we do take applicants on a case by case basis. You just need to be aware if you are outside of these ages that there might be fewer schools looking at your CV, things like that. Um, males and females can both apply. You need to have a clear English accent. And then for most of these destinations, you don't need any specific qualification. But if you wish to teach in Indonesia, Thailand or Vietnam, you will need a bachelor's degree. For the Latin American countries and also for Cambodia, you don't need specific qualifications. And then any work experience will help um, when we start looking for that job for you. These countries, they all differ quite a bit from South Africa. So you would need to be willing to learn and adapt. Um, in most cases also, you will be teaching children, especially in the beginning of this new career of yours. So you need to love working with children. When moving to a new country, you will also need patience not only with the new country you're in, but also with yourself. Give yourself time to adjust and to learn the new ways and your new area. And then there are many benefits to teaching abroad. When you do your TEFL course with us, you will learn how to teach all kinds of students um, from adults, children, really anyone. And then this truly can be the start of a new chapter in your life. If you have either never traveled or you've never taught, something will most likely be new to you. Um, the learning a new language that is probably going to be easier in the Latin American countries where they speak Spanish, as Mariska has mentioned. In the Asian countries, it's going to be a bit more difficult, but I'm sure that in time you will learn the basics, how to ask for directions, how to order a meal of a menu, um, things like that. The Asian languages. Um, Thai, Khmer, they are just on another level. Um, so yeah, you might need some time there as well. And then this is a nice way to get paid for traveling or to travel and get paid and make international friends. You will make international friends while on your course. And then also when you start teaching, you will probably have colleagues from all other countries. Um, and you can use this really as a new career or you can just take a gap year, just go for a year and then come home afterwards. When you are teaching abroad, and even if you are still in South Africa, maybe some of you are not ready to travel just yet, um, or you wanna travel quick, but you wanna continue teaching when you are home, you can always teach online you can, and you can supplement your income by that. So you can set a schedule that fits in with your school schedule, or if you maybe wanna teach online, during holidays and weekends, you can also do that. Um, and yeah, like I've mentioned, it's something that you can continue doing. Say you are the person who do the TEFL course, teaches for a year, uses it as a gap year, and then come home to follow another career. You can always still teach online part-time or one day when you're old and don't wanna really work too much anymore, teach online then. It is a qualification that it does not expire. Being an ESL teacher is rather different from teaching someone in their home language. You are basically trying to teach someone something that they don't know in a language that they don't understand. Um, so doing your TEFL course will equip you to do that. Um, everything that you need to know to do this is covered from lesson planning to classroom management, different teaching techniques, how to assess your students, and then you also get to do practical. Um, with the Latin American program, you will start your practical in your first week already. Um, in the Southeast Asian countries, you usually start with your practicals in the second week. This could change a bit depending on the class size and just the setup of that month. Um, but yeah, you get to do practicals and then your trainers will also give you feedback and tell you a little bit more about where you can um, better your teaching skills then. And then Mariska will go into some more detail on Latin America. 
Perfect. So firstly, I'm going to show you guys a video of just a, a client that did her, um, her TOEFL course. Um, so just give me a minute to play this for you. Included in your um, for TEFL uh, Latin America. So you have a seven days, 24 hours support while you were there. Um, you have your orientation, your pickup um, at the airport, um, your walk in tours. I'll chat a little bit more about that as well. Um, also about your social activities that you have. On campus, you do have your Wi Fi and the computer lab to do your assessments. You have your free coffee and tea on site and your snack bar. Your TEFL certificate is accredited and accepted worldwide. And I'll show you guys about the accreditations a bit later on. You do have your, um, your TEFL course given to you by highly qualified TEFL trainers. You have uh, coaching, uh, uh, continuous support during the TEFL course and even afterwards. And then um, you do have your practical teaching and observation in um, real um, ESL classes. And then your letter of recommendation and lifetime job finding assistance. And you are gra um, guaranteed to get hired within 30 days of graduation. So accommodation, you have two options. So you have the option to stay with a host family and they are pre-approved host families um, that have been with our partner for years. You do have your breakfast and din dinner provided seven days a week and they are accustomed to hosting international um, guests. So you might be staying with other students as well um, that is living with the host family. And your accommodation is usually 10 to 20 minutes walk, uh, walking distance from the training center. However, um, should you be going with a partner or you are an individual that enjoys your privacy, you can um, choose to go for the private apartments. It is fully furnished and very comfortable and it is equipped with your basic utensils, your plates, um, what you'll need during your four week um, course. So what does life look like as a TEFL trainer? Um, so in terms of your arrival, so you'll be picked up at the airport and you'll know it's them because uh, they'll have a big yellow smiley face flag um, waving in the air. So there's no way that you'll miss them. Um, you'll receive your welcome pack um, that initially tells you where you'll be living and your orientation time, how you'll um, uh, how to get in touch with your um, with Maximo in case of any emergency. And then depending on when you arrive so you can you can book your flight ticket anytime um you don't have to arrive any certain times and once you arrive um you'll either be taken uh, if it's during office hours you'll be taken directly to if it's after sorry if it's after office hours you'll be taken directly to your accommodation and then you'll have your orientation the next morning um, the safety and um, just a general orientation of the area. If you arrive during business hours, you'll go straight to the Institute and then you'll have your safety and location orientation then. Um, the idea here is that you know as soon as possible um, when you arrive what not to do and what to do and just the cultural things that you need to know and be aware of. Um, to obviously have a successful um, four weeks. You'll also get a walking tour of the area. So they'll show you um, where's the ATM, uh, the grocery store, 
where's a good restaurant, um, where can you where you can stop for lunch, um, where's the coffee shop, things like that that you'll that you'll need to know. They also will show you how to get um, to and from your accommodation to the institute. Then um, during weekends, uh, in terms of what you what you want to do um, on weekends, so for those that really want to go and do some sightseeing and travel, um, there is a on-site travel partner in each of the institutes, and you can use them to book tours um, that you can go to do. For ex example, if you want to go and hike Machu Picchu. Um, and then for those that want to explore more the cultural side of things, there is a uh, there is free salsa classes, cooking cooking lessons. There is also a conversational um, program to learn Spanish. So um, if you want to focus more on, on the the cultural side of things, you can take advantage of those free um, free stuff. Then if you're more focused on your on the course and you're more um, uh, the educational person um, or need just to focus a little bit more on your assignments you can take the weekend to stay at the host family's house and um and yeah just uh, focus on that um so yeah it is it accommodates everybody for those that want to um travel for those that wants more the cultural side of things or for those that is more um wants to focus a little bit more on the educational side um it really um accommodates everybody then um just a little bit more about the lifetime job finding assist uh, well the assistance that we give you guys here is that um we're not just selling you a four-week course and then telling you okay go out now and 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 uh, go find yourself a job we are here and our partners are there to help you um even after you do the course so during your week two they do already the job finding workshop with you um helping you with your resume preparation um, they give you a list of language schools in your preferred preferred country. Um, so you don't have to necessarily just stay in Costa Rica or Peru. You do have the option of different countries if you're wanting to travel. Then also um, internet uh, sites and job boards um, specializing in ESL schools. And then um, recruitment partners uh, that they'll give you um, an introduction to advice on job offers and contracts especially during the COVID time what is available what's not available so just that you have a realistic idea of where you can teach at the moment um, giving you your reference letters and your TEFL trainer acts as your professional reference um, for all future ESL opportunities so like I said even afterwards you can always contact your TEFL trainer for any advice or um, any references that you do need your TEFL train um, center offers um, also the 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 institute so Maxim Naval they also offer nine to twelve teaching positions um, every month year around in Costa Rica Guatemala and Peru so you can even um, stay at the um, institute and um, be a, a teacher there as well so that is a great opportunity then um just a little bit more about the the institutes so you you also want a home away from home so this will be your home for at least your first month and then um like i said you'd always have um them to to fall back on and um communicate with but we have your yeah, Costa Rica that was founded in 2006, Guatemala 2009, and then Peru was uh, 2003. That's the oldest, um, the first one that was um, that started. And um, yeah, they have quite a lot of um, staff that works there, ESL students that comes there every month. Um, so the, we've been working also with this partner for years now and have a great uh, relationship with them. 
And then lastly, just the accreditations. Um, as you can see, there is quite a few. Um, and it is, like I said, your TEFL certificate is internationally recognized. So you do have that peace of mind that it's not just any TEFL certificate that you'll be doing. You'll have that support and it is um, accredited. Cool. And then I'm going to leave you guys for Santa to chat to you about the amazing Southeast Asia options. Thank you. Yeah, and we're also going to start with a little video of Ewan, who just did his course in June, if that works. And then I'll go into some more detail. There we go. Yeah, so that is just a few of the pictures that Ewan sent us from his time doing his course um, in June. Then, as we've mentioned, our TEFL schools in Southeast Asia are located in Simrip, in Bali and in Bangkok. Um, Simrip and Bali is currently going strong and then Bangkok is new and opening from November. So that is something that we are very excited about. And then also just to remember that if you want to teach in Indonesia or in Thailand, you will need a bachelor's degree. Um, for Cambodia, you do not need any specific qualifications. Yeah, so when you go to Southeast Asia, you will get an internationally accredited TEFL qualification that is presented by highly qualified trainers. Um, they have been training and teaching themselves for many, many years. Um, your 140 hour course will include 20 hours of practical. Um, so teaching your peers and then also getting teaching experience in re real schools, um, which will mean that you get experience teaching adults and kids. Um, we take you on culture immersion trips to help you adjust and also settle into your new country. Um, and then we will also assist with finding accommodation. We'll go into some more detail on that in a little bit um, during your course and then also afterwards when you start teaching. And then once you've completed your course, we assist you with finding a job. And if you passed your course really well, you will also get a letter of recommendation that you can add um, to your qualification that you had. Um, Employment we offer in Cambodia, Thailand, Vietnam and Indonesia and that is also a fun bit about this program is that you can see two countries with one program so you can go and do your TEFL course in Thailand but then go and teach in Cambodia or do your course in Cambodia but teach in Vietnam so you can mix them around a bit as well if you would like to. The salaries that you get in these countries are very competitive um, Cambodia and Indonesia, you can look at about $900 to $1,500 a month. Thailand, the um, contracts are typically about $27,000 to $37,000 Thai baht per month. And then in Vietnam, you earn an hourly rate, um, but that also comes to roughly $1,500 every month. We've also mentioned that you can increase your income by teaching online. You can also do things like English camps or tutor on your days off or after hours. The cost of living in these countries are quite a bit lower than what they are in South Africa. So you can easily save some money and travel the rest of Asia or the rest of the world for that matter. Um, we assist with accommodation during your course. Um, and in the different destinations, we also have different um, different accommodation options for different budgets. So you will see here that there is a range of um, fees that it'll cost you. These are the costs for either the month or your whole um, course. And these pictures are um, on the right hand side. It's your Bali accommodations. And then down below is Thailand and then um, the Sim Rip hotels that you stay at. With Bali and Cambodia, they are walking distance from your training center and the ones in Thailand is a short 10 to 15 minute taxi ride.
to get to the training center. Um, these courses are intense. Mariska has gone through roughly what you can expect on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so you will need to work hard during your course, but you will also have some fun on your days off. Um, top right-hand corner, you see Ewan again. Um, that picture was also part of his video. He is from Wazulu Natal. He did the June course. And then there are some pictures. Um, oh, top left, left hand side is Ewan. On the right hand side, that is your welcome dinner. So when you get there, you will have a dinner, get to meet your classmates. Um, and then the middle picture is the markets that they go and visit over weekends. Um, left hand bottom, you'll find Liana. She's from the Free State and Beauty from Namibia. So as soon as they started their course, they already made their first international friends. Um, and then it is also just some from your cultural immersion trips. Mariska also mentioned that an accredited TEFL is really an important thing to do. Um, you get many TEFL qualifications online, but schools also look at the accreditations and collaborations when they look at appointing their teachers. Um, so our courses are all accredited um, and you can do them with peace of mind. In the end, this program and this experience will be what you make of it. Um, OVC will assist you with everything that needs to get done for you to start this um, amazing adventure. And then we've got our local partners. So when you get to the other side, whichever side you decide to go to, um, they will then assist you, get you around there, help you find your job, um, and then yeah, help you complete your TEFL and start your new life or your gap year or whatever it might be in your case. So this really is an awesome opportunity to get to know um, different countries and cultures. So there are many different job opportunities for someone with a TEFL qualification. From being an English teacher, which is what most people go into, especially in the beginning, to even possibly teaching other subjects, um, say you come from a math background, you can teach at an international school and you can possibly teach some math classes in English to people whose first language is not English. Once you are experienced, you can teach business English or if you come from a business background, um, teach pe other people in your field English that they might need to know if they are not English speaking and then also become a TEFL trainer yourself one day. Many of these TEFL trainers used to be TEFL teachers um, themselves in the beginning. So there really are a lot of options and opportunities that you can make use of and go into for the future. Then just going into the cost of this program. Um, so yeah, to do this program, you will need approximately 70 to 100,000 Rand um, to do the program. It sounds like a lot, but also do keep in mind that you are relocating to a new country and even relocating locally from, say, Joburg to Cape Town will cost you quite a bit of money. Um, so you really need to see this as an investment in your future and not just as something that I'm buying or a little holiday that I'm going on. Um, it really is an investment. Um, yeah, and then that 70 to 100,000 Rand also includes your spending money. So you're not going to just hand me that whole amount of money. This is also what you're going to be living off, what you're going to use to pay accommodation deposits, um, set up your new home. A big bonus of this program is that we've got courses running every month. Um, so you can finish your studies and then go. You don't have to apply now to go now. And then if you're interested in the program or maybe you do think of any other questions um, later on this evening or tomorrow, whenever, please contact your uh, closest OVC office. So we've got offices around South Africa and um, our contact details. Um, you can find the offices details on the website, so ovc.co.za. Um, we're also on Facebook, on um, Twitter, on um, YouTube. Please contact your um, OVC consultant for any more information and the application link. Cool. Thank you so much for joining us. And then um, we'll hope to see your application soon. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.